everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a chicken tomato bake. And the ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need one box of salentini, I think that's how you say it, salentini pasta. And then you're gonna need three cans of Italian diced tomatoes. You're gonna need four chicken breasts. For your seasonings, you're gonna need oregano, basil, black pepper, salt, garlic salt, onion powder, some parsley, and then about two and a half tablespoons of butter. And then over here I have about five leaves of fresh basil chopped and one eight ounce block of mozzarella cheese, fresh mozzarella. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. All right, I'm gonna season my chicken breast and I'm gonna take some of the parsley, some of the parsley. I love basil. And if you don't want to use dried basil, you don't have to, you can use fresh. I just like had it in my cupboard and I was like, I'm gonna use some of it. Some of the black pepper. You want a healthy amount. Then the salt. Just a little bit because we have the garlic salt. Oh my gosh, I can smell all these flavors. They smell so good. All right, some of the garlic salt. And then some of the some of the onion powder, some of my ooh, and then some of my oregano. All right, that looks really good. And then I'm going to flip these over with some tongs, and then do the process again. To the remaining of all of my seasonings, some of that black pepper, salt some garlic salt, and some onion powder. I love onion powder. I think I use onion powder for everything. And then the rest of my oregano. Perfect. I'm gonna add my butter into my pan. Get that nice and hot. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on it and let it get nice and hot. All right, so now it's been cooking, but you wanna achieve this nice goldy brown. And then I'm gonna let, uh, let the rest of this cook. You don't want to cook this all the way through because we're gonna put this in the oven. We're just wanting to sear it just a little bit to get that nice, beautiful color. So now I am going to pour in my cans of Italian, diced Italian tomatoes. I'm just using my tongs to kind of push everything over. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in my seasoning. I know these is already seasoned, but I like to add a lot more seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken in my tomatoes. Just like so. And then the last chicken in. All right, that looks so good. Squish them in there. A bit, there we go. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and saute my onions now that I have room for my pan. All right, so now I'm gonna put my onions in the hot pan and saute those. And why I like to do this after is because it gets all the like little chicken bits in there after chicken's been done. And it's so good. Like the smell is absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna kind of block this up a little bit. So I have caramelized my onions, they look perfect, and I'm gonna go ahead and just place these on top of the chicken. So I'm gonna be sprinkling on about half of the basil, the fresh basil that I have, about like that. So I'm gonna put this at 375 
for 30 minutes. I'm going to bring it out and put the cheese on. We'll put it back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. So I just took this out of the oven. The smell, oh my gosh, guys. I mean, this has filled the whole entire house. Um, I am going to go ahead and put my, my mozzarella cheese on. I love fresh mozzarella. I actually had my husband try it for the very first time the other day when I was actually making this and he loves it. And then I'm gonna put the rest of my basil right on top, just for pretty and for flavor. All right, I'm gonna stick this back in the oven for 10 minutes until it's all nice and melty. So I just took this out of the oven and it looks fabulous. I'm gonna let the chicken rest for just about five minutes. I'm gonna place the chicken on a cutting board and cut it up into strips and then put it over my pasta. The pasta, what I did is I just boiled it. I put about a tablespoon of salt in the water, brought the water to a boil, put the pasta in, let that cook until it was tender, and then I drained the pasta. I did not rinse my pasta because here's a little fun fact. If you rinse the pasta, the juices that you're wanting to put, the sauce that you're wanting to put over the pasta, it actually does not stick if you rinse it. So I have plated my dish and I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite. I'm gonna get me some pasta and some chicken and some mozzarella cheese and... This is amazing. The flavors is extraordinary. I mean, it's like the basil, the, the oregano, everything combined is just so perfect. Guys, you have to try this recipe. The recipe is in the description below. If you guys could follow me on Instagram and Facebook, please subscribe, turn on that notifications bell, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye. Come on there, little chicken. Not four ounces, four, four chicken breasts. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put, ooh, just a, the. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay.